Hi guys, my name is Zin and uh, this is maybe Bonsai and today I'm going to show you all the air layers that I'm doing and also I've got a couple of new plants that are from uh, Urban Yamadori. So we'll start with the air layers that I finished. Um, this is the trident maple so I'm uh, doing one down here and then this is actually on this branch so the trunk uh, will still have part of this branch and then I can grow it as two trees. And this is on, actually yeah, sorry, this is the one that I did on the, uh, in the video previously, Osakazuki. So that's doing fine, I had, all the leaves are fine, so no, uh, no harm there. And another one here. This, this is the Acer Planetum Arakawa, or the Season of Change. And then this, uh, I did it, this is the uh, graft, so I did it above the graft. I didn't want to do it too low because there's no, uh, not really any leaves there. So I wanted to, you know, do it at a good spot so that it would be easier to convert this into a, a bonsai in the future. And then once I cut this, I'll grow whatever's on the bottom, you know, whatever comes up, comes out. So that's that. And then there's this one. Sorry, this is the season of change. That's right, this is the season of change. The other one is a, another different variety. And this one, I did it right underneath right underneath the Y so it's right right there and all of them are using sphagnum moss some of them has uh, is using new sphagnum moss and some of them is, is using old youth sphagnum moss so I don't know if this is going to make a difference I don't think it will but we'll find out so yeah so once this this uh, once I take this off I will again leave the bottom and then decide if I want to keep the top or this or maybe I was thinking maybe I can plant this and then eventually do another air layer somewhere around the top where it's uh, branching a bit more um, but you know we'll, we'll see in the future um, this is the air layer from last year it's growing nicely all the leaves are coming out all the branches are coming out one spot so I think this I might have to clip and grow this for a, a few years before it becomes anything uh, significant So this is the coral bark, uh, Japanese maple, which I have an air layer, but I think I will uh, right, right, right along there. So I get the top and then the bottom again, I'll leave it for it to grow, but I'm going to do that sometime uh, next week. And before I head to the front yard for a, uh, for the, for the, another couple of air layers, this is a, just a, I think, I think it's a red maple. It is a native species. Um, this is a urban Yamadori. I got this from uh, from my vet actually. <laughs> um, I, I emailed her and then because uh, I saw some land on her properties and I, I thought I'd take a look and uh, yeah I found this. It's got a nice trunk. Uh, good movement. I'm not sure. I think this branch might be dead. I'm not too sure. But I'll leave everything on there and uh, I repotted this or I potted up this uh, yesterday in um, in bonsai soil and yesterday everything was drooping down still because I just it just got repotted and it was you know because I, I dug it up uh, when, when the root is already, is already active um, but today all the leaves are up so even though they're still a bit soft um, this area it's in the shade for most of the day except for you know right now basically so I think that'll be okay and there's a couple other uh, maples of the same, pretty much uh, same same type. Uh, this one, another red maple, and then there's that one there, which has got a kind of a weird branch coming off. Uh, I'm not sure if these will make it, but you know, because this this has been like this for for the, uh, yesterday and today. Um, but I watered it, you know, I put it in the shade, so hopefully it'll be okay. I think this one's got more chance. I think when I potted this up, this had more roots. And then for this maple, I think I counted rings. Um, you know, up to up to, up to this. Like there's about one, two, three, about six or seven in there. So that's, I, I really like this one, especially the way that it's, I don't even know how this happened, but anyway, hopefully this will survive. Um, it's looking good right now, but uh, you know, you never know. So let's head to the front. And I'll show you the other air layers. 
Okay, I'm in the front yard. So this one I marked before. I don't, I don't know if you remember in one of the previous episodes I said I would do it uh, around this area. This I think was the uh, one of the more difficult ones because it's not a smooth bark. It had like kind of a, a pruned off branches and stuff so I had to cut out all the way. And um, you know I can't really video it. It's just it's impossible for me to do it properly and video the whole thing. Um, but yeah, it's just sphagnum moss inside as you can see. I'm not sure if you can see, but yeah. And hopefully this will take. This 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 one I'm really, um, I guess, excited about it because it's got a nice strength, uh, branch structure. Plus it's quite thick as well. So hopefully that takes. And this is the same tree as before, as the previous air, air layer that I have in the garden. So this branch, I did it here. And... Uh, once this is finished, I'm going to cut this right off. I don't really want this random uh, upright branch. And one of my neighbors actually suggested this might be a um, grafted tree. But, you know, I looked down here. It doesn't look like, look like there's any kind of graft. Even though the trunk colors are different and the leaf colors are different. But I think the leaves turn green after they come out. So I don't think it's a graft. Um, but, you know. I'm gonna cut this air layer off and then cut the branch off anyway. I don't, I don't want to take any chances. I don't really like this uh, upright out of a weeping tree anyway. So the last one is in the front here. This is a ginkgo tree. Uh, this tree's been here since the house was here. And the house was here for eight years when, uh, when I bought it. And it's been eight years since I bought it. So this is probably a pretty old tree. And uh, I air later, later just under the Y again. So I put a lot of speckled moss in here and you know I wrapped it up. The bark on this was really thick. Uh, I actually peeled it off first, but then I, re I realized it wasn't the whole bark. So I had to peel off another layer to get to the smooth inner, uh, inner bark. Or we're going, not inner bark, inner trunk of the, of the branch. So it's a nice looking branch, um, but I'll probably you know I'll probably prune it off a lot once this uh, finishes and hopefully it takes um, I mean this this will probably take the longest I think because it's such an older tree and uh, had a really thick bark so I really hope it will it's gonna work but uh, we'll see so you know so as you can see I'm doing a lot of air layering uh, this year last year I only tried one just to just to try it out and this year there's about, I don't know, seven or eight, something like that. And um, I'm really hoping that all of them will work. But I'm not sure if it will or not. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's it for this week. I just wanted to update you guys on the air layers and the urban yamandoris. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching.